I saw. I see so that can go. I run number one so. I take my knife from my. I got the head is straight so that can make it that you want. I want. I want. Ah, oh my God, they're Hi guys. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> I know. I know. Sorry, I'm not feeling guys. Life has not been, you know, very easy and on this end. Like, a lot has happened in the few days. A lot, a lot has happened. Like, I've been, like I'm going through a lot mentally, emotionally, physically, and everything. Guys, honestly, <laughs> first of all, it's not easy to be a mother. It is not easy to be a mom. It is not easy to be a mom. It is not easy to be a wife. In fact, in general, it is not easy to be a woman. Honestly, like, sometimes I just feel like, let me be a man. Sometimes I just feel like, let me not exist for today. <laughs> I don't know. Is it just me? Like, honestly, guys, I'm exhausted. My head is banging. Like, I have serious headache that wants to leave my life alone. I'm struggling guys, I'm struggling. I'm supposed to post a video yesterday. I couldn't, I didn't do it. I have no video planned, like. <laughs> oh my goodness. This um, granola and Greek yogurt. I like to mix it like this. I don't know if every other person does that. But this is the way I like to mix it. If you hear about granola, please, it's the fun. Like the heat, the heat this period, like it's not even joking. These are all the things, even natural factors is joining forces against me. Like, who do I offend? The heat, I, can, I could barely sleep at night. I am always awake. The mosquito, the heat, like everything is just... Bro. It's just too much. Guys. I'm so grateful that... Our school gave us like a one week break just one week break we are resuming school next week and thank god for that because if i'm still you know hopping around going to school and coming back and doing all the things that i still have to do guys i don't know where i would have been by now because i didn't know i was having you know um internal fever i didn't know my i have like a lot of wounds or blisters or blisters or what do you call it on my tongue then i checked my temperature i was running fever guys that's eight degrees the headache will leave me alone body pains guys my back <laughs> this is the real pregnancy my back like my back my ribs are they're gone like i don't even own them they're gone they're not my own anymore I just miss you guys so much that I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. I miss talking to you guys a lot. For the past three days or four days, I've not been I've not been on my camera talking to you guys and I miss that so much. So today I was like, let me talk to you guys, shall anything but let me shall talk to you guys. Honestly guys, a lot has happened. From trying to update school work from my school, to taking care of the boys, to body pains, you no know, pregnancy, wahala, to you know, make sure that hobby is good. I recently just went to the market to get stuff for the baby. I have to start planning now because, you know, so I will not be caught on our ways. So I went to the market recently and get stuff for the for the baby. Hey, guys, it's not been easy. Like, anybody that tells you that motherhood is easy, that person, like, it's 419 now. It's a 419 now, for real. It's a joke. Motherhood is not easy. Nothing is easy. Like, motherhood, parenting, motherhood. Being a female is hard. Guys, have you ever noticed this thing that when you are pregnant, like you're pregnant, your pregnancy, the first, the f your first and second pregnancy, it's not usually the same thing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed. I've just been checking it with something, and I'm, 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 and I'm like, you know, when I was pregnant with my first child, 
before I think, before I even got up to six months, I've, I'm, I was done with all the shopping. I was done with all the shopping. I, I, I bought everything before, before I, before I even get my third trimester. I already buy, I already bought everything. And with my second pregnancy, I was in a haste to buy something, but not so in a haste as I was in my first pregnancy. And now this third one is even worse. <laughs> Guys, this third one is so freaking worse. Can you imagine? I almost do, and I just recently started buying buying stuff for the baby. Like the shopping is not here, and I learned something from my first and my second pregnancy. Sometimes I shop till I drop, but now I'm no longer doing that because a lot of things that I bought for my first and two babies, they don't they don't need it, they don't use it, so. I don't shop once. I just buy, you know, the necessary things that I know that, okay, yeah, for sure, they're going to need this, they're going to use this, so. Another thing I noticed is worrying. When I was pregnant with my first baby, I wasn't as worried as I was in my first pregnancy during my second pregnancy. And this third one is almost like worse. There are some things that I'll notice maybe in my body or maybe uh, from the baby, my first pregnancy, and I would be like maybe crying over it, and I would be like so worried to be giving me like sleepless nights. But <laughs> in this third pregnancy, I'm, I'm like, huh, nah, you'll be fine. Like, you're okay, don't even start. I'm, I won't even be worried about it. There are things that will take me to the hospital that I, because of I, how much I worry, hubby will be like, okay, let's go to the hospital. But in this one, hubby is even dragging me. To go to the hospital. <laughs> like the differences between pregnancies is so shocking. The other thing is food. Guys, my first pregnancy. Ah. I'm always in Google. I'm always on YouTube. I will Google. And Google. And Google. And research. I made sure that I don't ever taste anything that I'm not supposed to take. That, that will not be good for my baby. I don't do it. I don't take it. But in my second pregnancy, I wasn't as cautious as I was in my first one. But in this one, guys, <laughs> baby's eating everything. <laughs> guys, I eat everything, even alcohol that I do not dare to take. Now I'm like taking like maybe one bottle of cinnamon of ice. That's the alcohol I can take now. So, like, I'm less worried. I don't know why. It's just nature or because we have been through pregnancies and, like, we know how these things work. But, honestly, yeah, the way these things do, like, I've, I've just been checking it and imagining it and it's, it just feels so surreal. Like, is this is my baby. The other ones are my babies. Why am I not worried the way I was worried for them for this one? Like, <laughs> ah, mother Ucha. During my first and second pregnancy, especially my first pregnancy, guys, I could boast of having like monthly belly pictures from month one, from the day I found out that I was pregnant to the last day that I would have my bump. I would have the like the whole pictures from one month to nine months. During my second pregnancy, I I have I have some pictures, but not that much. It's not up to nine months. But <laughs> In this one, guys, I could barely boast of. I don't even even if I have a, a pregnancy belly picture on my phone. I don't know which month is that. Honestly, I could barely boast of. I don't even have the urge. I don't even have the appetite. I don't even have the, you know. I don't just feel like taking pictures. I don't. I don't know why. I don't just feel like picture anything. Like everybody day your day because my whole body is even pending me. What am I taking picture for? In my first pregnancy, I go for a visit. I attend all of my appointments, all of them, all of them. I don't miss my appointment for anything in the world. And I go early. Hmm. I must not miss that dance, not that dance. They do th that first dance, what they start the main antenatal stuff. I must join them to do that dance because if I've not done that dance, if I if I come if I come late, eh, and the dance I've, I've already finished. And they are done with the dance. I'll, I'll feel like I don't even come to another. I will be like, what am I even doing here? I will be there so early, but now responsibilities and everything has, you know, jam packs my life. I could barely even worry about going for Atinata. As soon as I'm taking my drugs and maybe it's moving, everything is good. I got to my Atinata. Please don't get me wrong. I got to my Atinata, but 
not as much as I would or not as much as I did during my first and second pregnancies. Do you guys get? I'm not even making sense. Then the next thing is labor preparation, guys. <laughs> the guys, if you see the way I, pre I prepare for my labor, <laughs> if you see the way I prepare for labor, like once I know that, okay, maybe next week I'm going to land in my maybe nine months, okay. For example, I'll start this week to start preparing. I'll prepare for my labor. <laughs> I will prepare for my labor as if I'm traveling out of the country. Like, I will make sure that everywhere is okay. Make sure that the fridge is stored because nobody wants to come back from the hospital and start making food. Although my mommy do, you know, come back with us because she stay, she stays in the same city with us. So my mommy con comes back with us and helps with making food. But I make sure that every other thing is okay. I make sure that this, the boys' school uniform is okay and is like... Their socks, their singlet, their underwears, everything is all okay. I prepare so much for labor and delivery. But I'm not even in my nine months. That's when I start preparing. Do you get? Like, I prepare so much for my delivery, for my labor. That if you that if you see me, that in my mind, I feel like maybe I'm traveling, like I'm going to a place that is far from home. Or I'm traveling out of the country. Or maybe I'm going to die. Please, I'm not dying. <laughs> Please, I'm not dying. I just prepare so much. Like, but now in this pregnancy, guys, I'm not even worried. Like, <laughs> I'm unbothered. I can't be bothered. Something like this cannot bother me. Like, my back and my ribs are cracking. <clears throat> That's enough to bother me than the preparations. Like, I've, 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 I've outgrown that. God, I can't talk. I don't know. Do you guys stammer? This is Tamari, you know, like this. It's Tamari. <laughs> Whenever I talk to you guys, I feel lifted. I feel energized. I feel this energy. I feel like I have to give out vibes, you know? And that helps me both mentally and emotionally and, you know, psychologically. I just feel like I need to, you know, be happy, to boost up, you know, forget everything that is happening or going on or the life struggles that I'm going on with and all the pains that I'm having sitting down right here and that's why I enjoy talking to you guys honestly because you guys keep me going like this camera keeps me going I can't even lie please if you are watched up to this point and you are not subscribed to my channel you are doing it wrong why aren't you subscribed can you let me know go to the comment section let me know how do I offend you why would you subscribe to my channel why Am I not good? I know I'm good. Subscribe to my channel. Join the family. You know, help me. I, I don't know if I'm going to even film my birth vlog. Because I don't know if anybody's going to watch it. So, instead of me to, you know, stress my life away. And film my birth vlog for nobody to watch it. Uh, I don't know. You know, filming when you are in pain is a lot of work. You know how labor is. And... <laughs> for me to feel that kind of a thing and post it and not get views or subscribers, something like that. I don't know. I'm not going to feel good, honestly. I'm not, I don't want to go into postpartum depression. Yes, because anything can trigger that. I've not been there and I don't want to be there. So, guys, let me know if you want me to film that. And let me know why you've not subscribed to my channel if you're watching this. And, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, guys, but please, pardon me. I just, I just, I don't know. Let me know video ideas that you want me to do. I could, do, I can do them for you guys, you know. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.